Hello and welcome to my hand crochet channel, Off by Heart Design. I'm going to show you how to make a circle rug using Yarn Bee Eternal Bliss Ivory today. Um, you can also use Burnett Blanket Big, but I'm using the Eternal Bliss from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to show you how this is done. So stay tuned and thanks for joining. So what I like to do is unravel the yarn so it makes it a little bit easier and faster and it gives you an opportunity to check the yarn and just make sure that it's a good roll as well. So first thing I do is I unravel my roll of yarn. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is make a slip knot. So the short end will be in front of your hand. You can bring the yarn behind your fingers and over. And then the working yarn will come through the back of that loop. Okay. And then you just pull the one side and there's your first slip knot. Um, then you're going to make a chain of four. So this is one. Uh, pull the working yarn through the back for two and you want to make sure they're even then you do three and four okay and now through the first loop you made you're going to reconnect the last loop to the first loop and then your working yarn is going to come through those two loops and that's going to create your circle so you can just play with that a little bit and now that you have a circle to work with um, let's see where we are you are going to bring your working yarn through the middle of that circle okay and you're going to single crochet six times so your um, tail can just be out of the way and your working yarn is going to come through those two loops for single crochet of one. Okay, your working yarn is going to come through the center, create that second loop for you. That's going to be two. We're going to do three. Okay, four. five and six okay so see how you have a really nice start of your circle there so now what you want to do is get a stitch marker I'm going to use a bobby pin to identify the last stitch um, of each round so you can use anything you want, okay? So now what you're gonna do is find your stitches, okay? And we're gonna do two single crochet into each one of these stitches. So you wanna make sure that you're not um, working too tight on this either, but you find your two, your first stitch, so through both loops, your working yarn is going to come through the back, okay, and that's one, and you're going to do that again through that same stitch, and that's two, and you're going to do that for each stitch on this first round, two single crochets through the same stitches. And again, you want to make sure that you're not going too tight because otherwise you're just going to end up having like not a flat rug and it's going to curve on you and that will not be good because it'll just stand up a little bit. Okay, so two in each stitch.
Okay, and this is our stitch marker. And we're gonna do two. And here. And place back our stitch marker. Okay. See how that's becoming a really nice circle? Okay, now our second round, we're going to do two stitches into our first knit, two, and then one single stitch into the next one, and then two, and then one. So we're going to put two stitches into the same first stitch, two single crochets, okay? And then we're gonna do one crochet into the next one. And then we're gonna do two again. And you're gonna do that all the way around until you reach your stitch marker. Okay. So we're gonna do one. We're going to do two. One. And two. One. Two and one, two, and on this round, we just go into a single one on our stitch marker. and replace that stitch marker into your last stitch there. And you can use anything, it doesn't have to be a bobby pin, so whatever is easiest for you to use and maneuver and keep track of. And see, our beautiful circle is coming together. Okay, so now we're gonna do two into the first stitch, one, and then one. Two, one, one. Okay. So two in the to the first stitch. And then one single. And one single. And then two into the stitch Oops. and one single and one single two And one. So now we're going to do two into the first stitch, and then you're going to do one, two, three single, and then two into the fourth stitch, and repeat that as you go around. So two into this first stitch. Okay, and then single for one, single two, 
and one more three and then double again so when you run out of um, yarn on your first row oops you are just going to connect the two together i've seen some people fuse um these two together by using a lighter i simply just tie them together so i bring one over each other so front and back bring it behind and then again just do a second knot um and then i just pull both sides make sure they're tight and they're not going to come undone and then you'll just cut these little ears later um, and they'll get lost in the pattern anyway so you don't really have to worry about it to four single crochets now so we're going to do two crochets into the first and then four single crochets so one two three and four i didn't unravel this roll but you can see why it's a really good idea because otherwise it just runs around as you are doing that and you can see now what we've come up with so now we're going to do a double stitch into the first stitch double crochet sorry into the first stitch and then one two three four five single stitches okay and then two and then five and then your next row is going to be double and then six single and then double and then seven single and then double and then eight single until your rug is the size that you would like it to be so this is the rug that i have now and i'm one and a half whoops i'm one and a half skeins in um so i'm gonna finish it and then i'll measure and i will let you know what size it's gonna be okay so to finish your rug what you would do is you would do a slip stitch into the next um, stitch okay and then you would bring the working yarn through both of these two loops and you would just tie a knot um, I'm not going to do that because I'm not actually finished but you would just tie a knot and then weave it into the next loop so you would just weave it in and then continue that and hide it and that would have your rug complete um okay so i'm showing you the back side of the rug for a second because this is two full skeins of hobby lobby's yarn b yarn um the burnett blanket bag will give you just about the same so this in full diameter is about 22 22 and a half inches and i just want you to see that you can see where the attachment of the second roll is so you get quite a bit out of your first roll and then your second roll you're getting just a small amount so if you want to figure with each roll you're going to add it's actually going to get less the larger you get but you're going to get about two and a half to three inches so this is also why the price of the rug goes up because you need so many rolls to make it large um, like this is a 22 inch, which is super cute and small, um, a little accent. If you have a little dog, a little cat, this is a really good size. But if you're actually going to use it for home decor or anything like that, you can see this one here is about 39 inches. Um, and I think I used 10 rolls on that one, nine or 10 rolls. So anyway, that is how you make the circle rug. And I hope this helps and I'd love to see what you guys make. Okay, so here we have it, the circle rug. And if you liked this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, um, and have fun knitting.